Bonjour! Today we're going to do another Python tutorial and this time it's going to be web scraping for beginners. So basically we have this website here, The Greatest Books, but unfortunately this is one of these annoying websites that has a list of things but it's separated over many pages, which is rather annoying and wouldn't it be good if we could just get all of the data in one go as opposed to clicking through every single page to find out what the definitive greatest books in the world are according to this random website on the internet and because it's on the internet we know it's true so let's 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 look at this so i'm going to put the link to the website in the in the doobly doo the very first thing we're going to do is we need to install requests so we need to do pip install requests which might actually be a, a, a python thing that comes with python why I'm, I, I've already installed it anyway, so there we are. We're also going to install something called Beautiful Soup. Install BS4, I think it is. Yeah, something like that. Yep, that might be it. It might also be pip install Beautiful Soup. We could just check, actually. Let's just check. Pip install Beautiful Soup. Ah, oh, it's this. I was so wrong! This is already off to an absolute disaster. Okay, requirement already satisfied. That's what you need to install. Pip install Beautiful Soup 4. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's have a goosey goosey gander at this website and see how we're going to scrape it. So the very first thing we need to do is, if we look at the first page, we need to get the pages. So the way we get the pages, let's go to the second page. And if you look at the, if the, you look at the URL, if you can see that, the URL has, um, at the end, it has the page. But the first page never has that. So we're just going to copy the entire URL up to the page. And then we're going to create our little script. So book.py, open it in your text editor of choice. So let's first install uh, import, sorry, requests. Then we're going to do from BS4, import beautiful soup as BS. That's bullshit. Now let's take that URL. Um, and basically, what we have to do is we have to go from page one. So if we just verify that page one actually works and gets us to the first page, it does. Um, what's the last page? I think it was 52. Yeah, let's go to the last page. The last page is 52. So what we need to do, for you beginners there, is we need to do the thing that you've probably come across by now. We're going to do a for loop. So we're going to say for page in range, uh, and it will be 1 to 53. Um, 1 plus what we're actually going to. So if we just verify this works, I'm going to print the page. And let's really quickly run this. So we say uh, Python. Oh dear, oh dear. Python book. And look, it prints all the numbers from 1 to 52. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so we know that that's getting the actual page. So let's um, let's park the this for loop for a second, and we'll just try and get um, we'll just try and get the first page, and we'll just try and get the some of the books on the page or all the books on the page. So first thing we need to do is we will uh, create the URL object or the the request object, should I say? So we say requests. Uh, dot get and then we put in the URL and because I can't be bothered to actually like modify this later we're just going to do string page and here we'll also just quickly put a page and we'll say we'll put the number sorry we'll put the number one because this for loop is going to give us numbers we need to actually you know, turn it into a, a string so we're going to do that otherwise we'll get an error so let's create the request from there, we want to use beautiful soup. So we say BS, let's say rec.text. So we're going to get that request object, we're going to get the text of it. And we're going to tell beautiful soup that this is like HTML. So we want to use the HTML parser. Okay. Um, and if, if we test this now, so if I was to print soup, we're going to see all the HTML pop out. Oh no, there is an error already. This is good how we're testing as we go along. I don't see what the error, I see what the error is. I put M instead of a comma. 
okay there we are so what it's printed out is it just printed out the entire html for this whole website so we know that that is you know pretty much right and if i look through here can i see any books oh look the 100 greatest american novels picked by jeff o'neill okay right so we know that, that that's working it's the request is working we're not getting blocked this is all gravy now we need to look at the website itself and what we're going to do for this is there's a couple of ways we can do it the, one of the ways i recommend is using um, ublock origin and blocking elements so you select like the element you want to we want to scrape and it will bring up this handy little box which you might not be able to see very well but i can't zoom in on it that will give you html reference to that 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 point um on the page uh, but that's not very useful in this case um, for whatever reason, just for the way the website is set up. So we're going to use the key, the console tools in or dev tools in Chrome. And the way you get that to them on a Mac is Command Alt J, or if you're on Windows, I think it's F11. And we're going to inspect the page. Actually, we do it this way. We just right-click inspect over the element we want to select. So let's just inspect here, and we should be able to select stuff. Okay, so what we can see is the title of the book, including the um, author's name, is in a H4 tag. It has two links, so one of them has the text of the title, the other one has the author's name as the, the thing, and this is all present within what you'd normally expect, and that is a container. So we, we, we'll get the container. I think that will work. So if we say container, and this is great, this is why I like beautiful soup. We're going to find div. So the container here, if you can see that, is a div. I think we can zoom in on that. Oh, we can zoom in. There we go. We can zoom in on that. Wonderful. They thought of everything. It's a div with the class container. So we're going to say soup.find div. And then we're going to pass in um, this. We're going to say a truth. And we're going to say class container and this is really useful because you might have um, something else so you might have like you know for example it might be type there you might have source there are a number of things you could put in there you know that could be in the HTML okay, so the next thing we need to do is we're gonna get um, the box so that container I'm just gonna assume that's working it's gonna have got the everything in the container okay or everything within every class called container so what's interesting about this is there might actually be multiple containers and that's certainly what it looks like actually it looks like yes yeah, so there actually are multiple containers so what we're doing here is we're actually skipping you know getting the full list so we could actually get the list body and then we could get all the list items from the the list body but by doing this we're just saying let's get the div called container we get every single div called container and get all of the text from that in and treat it as one uh, element which makes it way easier to uh, faff about with books say container now we're going to say find all i'm going to say h4 now what we've done here we're getting those h4 elements which as i mentioned contain the title and the author's name in links so then we're going to run a for loop over over that over those books that we've got because we're going to get every h4 tag that's within a, con a div that has the class container and then we're going to start getting all the stuff so if i say for books in books for book in books we want to get the we'll get the links so we're going to say links is equal to book find all a we don't have to like you know say it there because we don't have to say for example attributes class whatever because here they don't actually have it if we look at the code it just doesn't have it it just has a has a her f it doesn't really give us any indication it's a bit of a pain so all we're going to do here is we're going to assume that the formatting of this is the same throughout the, the whole website the title comes before the author and there's also something I've just noticed here. We have some type books that don't have titles. And that's a bit of a pain. But we can fix it really simply. Um, we can't obviously get, you know, the author where there is no author, but we can handle a potential error that could come up. So we get the title, we say links zero, 
is like I say, we're getting the first link and we're gonna say dot text. So for the author, because there are some cases where we're not gonna have an author, I'm gonna quickly do this. I'm gonna say author is equal to a blank string. And then we're gonna have a try except block. So we can say author is equal to links one dot text. Basically, there might not be an author there. So this links one might not be present because it might only find a single link. And if it only finds a single link, then if we have this outside of a try except block, it will just crash the program. And in fact, it may, it's not a try catch, sorry. Try except, we'll just say pass. We don't have to really do any clever exception handling here. And what we do here is we'll say, say the title is equal to this. And we'll put it on a new line. Say new line, author, and then we'll say that, that, and title, author. Okay, let's give this a run for just this page that we are, we're not actually on page 52 at the moment, so let's have a look at page, page one that we're on. We're looking for, we're gonna see In Search of Lost Time, Ulysses, Don Quixote, the Great Gatsby and Moby Dick. They've got to be in the list. We've got to know that this works, right? So we run it. Let's have a gander. Oh my God, look at that, it worked. And we can see at the top here, we have In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust. Ulysses by James Joyce. I would not recommend reading that. It's very, very hard going. Don Quixote and Great Gatsby and so on and so forth. We can see this actually is working. So now let's try adding multi-page functionality to this. This is where things might break. Um, so we have this try accept block here because we know that some books might not have an author. I very much doubt that some books won't have a title, but I don't know who wrote this website. Maybe there are some blank titles for some weird reason. I don't know, but let's let's get rid of this page. We'll put the four block back in. There we go. Come all the way down. Wee. There we go. And let's run that again. We should see no errors if it works. It might take a bit of time to work, but as you can see, it's just running through each page. So that's why we're sort of getting one and then it waits a bit, then it goes another one, then it gets another one because you're having to load the request each time. Looks like it's pretty much working. Doesn't seem to be failing. It hasn't crashed yet. This is, I would say, a great success. So all that remains is for me to say thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the bottom i will answer them as soon as i can if they're reasonable questions and make sense bye bye, -bye.